What's up guys, we're back. So, something quick. It's September 26th, it's Monday. It was hot. And uh, I expect it to be hotter tomorrow. This is a kind of a weird uh, temperature swing that we got where it, it was cooling down and then all of a sudden it got hot again. So, I wanna show you what happened to, this is my bacon. And this bacon, as you know, has been doing really, really well for the most part and we got lots of fruit and it's only been in the ground for a couple years but check out this branch <clears throat> so this branch is so heavy and with this little mini heat wave that we got um, also all of these avocados that are weighing this branch down you can see it just kind of I guess it didn't have enough water uptake and it just bent the branch. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to put a stake to kind of keep it maybe more upright so it doesn't break the branch. That's what I'm really more concerned about than anything is just breaking this branch and then losing all the fruit that's here. So I, I tried to count how many. There, there's probably like a dozen in here but these guys are getting a lot bigger and heavier so that's what's going on when they're heavy and we got a little heat wave coming at the wrong time of year this is like end of September and we should be cooling down it's supposed to be fall as a matter of fact I was supposed to be um, doing some fertilizing and I haven't gotten to it yet so I'm hoping that um, maybe this weekend I'll try to get to the fertilizing but so, as you know, my bacon has cukes. I got other cukes in here also. You can see there's some right there. Um, but overall, this guy is doing okay. A little sunburn here and there, like you can see the branch. I didn't really paint it. Um, this is so heavy because of all the fruit. And um, as you can see, it just has a little spot where it's burnt. Like this, this root's probably gonna be no good. So, so as you know, my bacon, I planted this around November of 2019. It grew in 2020, it had fruit in 2021, and it's got a lot of fruit in 2022. <clears throat> so, relatively short time frame for it to kind of get this big. I will do some footage where you can actually see when I first did my first video it was interesting because this was the first avocado that I kind of presented in my little orchard here and then all of a sudden my orchard kind of exploded and grew and got tons of different varieties and this was the bacon that kind of held on throughout everything and even though we're having a little issue right now we're concerned it might break the branch because it's so heavy with the fruit that I guess that's a good thing, I can't complain. But overall, this guy's doing well. Just pan up so you can see. Um, there's fruit up top there too, so. I like the bacon fruit better than a Zutano. I've had both, and I would say bacon probably tastes better, in my opinion. So, the key is always to allow it to hang on the tree a little longer to gain a little uh, oils, additional oils. <clears throat> so it does taste a lot better after you let that happen so now I have some friends that I know who have a bacon also and theirs is not producing at all so I don't know I mean they're in Southern California also and what's odd is mine is just going crazy so maybe uh, maybe getting some cyan wood from this bacon and putting it on somebody else's bacon might be the key but other than that it shouldn't it should be doing the same thing as this, you know? So, hopefully you guys are doing good. You know what, I actually got two new avocado varieties, um, which I'll show you guys eventually here, but I gotta get them in the ground, of course, but excited about that. But hopefully you guys are staying cool. Make sure you water your avocados. Make sure you stay hydrated. I'm staying hydrated. It's hot and uh, Let's hang on tight for the next couple days here. It's supposed to cool down by the end of the week, but you know, it, it, 
this late end of season heat wave was uh, um, not a good thing overall, but I'm gonna see what I can do to stake this thing up. All right, it's getting dark so much faster now. And this is what we've done so far. So, or I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm doing it so I can document this for myself. So I want to see how it does. So essentially just a pole or a stake and kind of tied it. This knot right here is called a, a constrictor's knot. Look it up and it's pretty useful, especially for um, tying onto a round, like a round stake like this. So it does kind of hold itself up. Um, it doesn't slide down the stake. So something to look at and kind of, but uh, we'll see how these do. But anyways, hopefully you guys are doing well. Like I said, talk to you guys later. See ya.